understand me. I just... him still being my friend. He wasn't a different person. In a way, he was Vanessa. He was the one who had really cared about me all along. My mom wasn't enthusiastic on the idea of me talking to boys and I didn't want to get into trouble. Okay, but do you mind if I keep your contact as a person? No, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. We started to meet up and talked face to face. He even bought me presents. He was a really great company. to his house as well. We would just sit and chat. Sometimes he would ask me to do things for him and I was rather hesitant. But he was charmingly persuasive yet scarily insistent and he made me do many things that I still regret. Okay. What's the matter with you? I, I don't want to. What do you mean you don't want to? I... You're so weak! <laughs> Post the pictures online. No, please don't. They better do what I say. Okay. Then he would apologize after each incident. As if it didn't matter to me at all. As if everything was fine. I tried to tell him to stop, but he would start yelling and throwing things. Whenever I tried to run away, it only made things worse. What are you gonna do? What should I do, huh? You gonna tell people? They won't believe you. David even threatened to post horrible photos of me on the internet. I couldn't let anyone know about whatever I had done. He told me I would only get laughed at. He told me no one would believe me. And so I did everything he told me to do. I was so embarrassed. What had I done? I felt so alone. <laughs> oh my god! At <laughs> least it's not like her. I thought my life was over. What was I supposed to do?